Do I want my art to be a threat to the dominant culture? Yes. Everybody can think differently, so therefore, everybody will think differently. So get used to it. Don't take it personally. Like the kid in the back of the class who thought the teacher's full of shit, these other smart asses don't know what they're talking about, he's drawing some wild little cartoon, you know, mocking it all. He'd go out shopping or something, he'd give me a little note to let me know where he was. I went for a walk. He's lying in a puddle of blood. He is doing really what editorial cartoonists are meant to do. This guy has balls. <laughs> I think it's the responsibility of every artist to reflect the times in which they live. That's why Mr. Fish's work is really important. It's not a dying profession. It is a profession that is being systematically murdered. What editors like are funny little jokes that offend no one. He doesn't play the way you play if you want to be rewarded. I get a little squeamish when the audience treats the cartoons as something quaint something cute. I want cartooning to be dangerous and I want it to be something more than just in one paper.